Yo guys, it's Brandon from Brantendo Studios and today I am going to be teaching you how to play Wii U games online in 2024 with a service called Pretendo. This is a lot like Weemfy from the Wii and DS games where it was uh, basically a replacement online server because earlier this month Nintendo shut down Nintendo Network which was the um, online service for the Wii U and 3DS. Um, this service also works on 3DS too. My 3DS tutorial will be coming later, of course. But for now we're going to be doing the Wii U tutorial. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to head over to Pretendo Network's account. Or website, I mean. Um, in order to make your account. So I will link that in the description. Um... Another thing I forgot to mention at the start is that you're going to need a modded Wii U for this. Um, if you don't have a modded Wii U, that's okay. I mean, there is a method that you can do without homebrew, which is just um, a few DNS changes. You know, kind of like the old Wii one. Um, but it's highly recommended that you do have a modded Wii U because there's basically more features available if you do. So... The first thing you're going to need to do, like I said before, head over to Pretendo Network's website, links in the description, and from here you're going to need to make your account. Um, it's very important that you do not use the same email and password that was attached to your original Nintendo Network ID, otherwise it will be, otherwise it will kind of like mess it up and it will just be a bit complex. So make sure you use a different email and password. So, now that you've hopefully made your Pretendo Network ID like I have here, I know this is kind of like wrong here, this isn't my me, I wasn't born in 1990 and I am not American. It just kind of like, it just says that on there, it was just like the default thing. Um, I think there is a way to change it, but it just hasn't updated yet. But, anyway, with all that out of the way, um, the next thing we're going to need to do is... Um, head on over to the Wii U, because there's a homebrew app that I need to show you guys. Okay, so now that we are back on our Wii U, and assuming that your Wii U is homebrewed, I mean, if it's, mine is, but if it's not, I will leave a tutorial in the description on how to do it. The environment is called um, Aroma, if anyone's interested. So I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. And... What you're going to want to do from here is open up the Homebrew App Store because there's a certain app that you can get on there. And as you can see, you can also get Miiverse back with this thing, but that's going to be something that we can play about with later at another point. But yeah, I think it's really cool how we can get Miiverse back with this thing. So um, as you can see here, you're going to need to um, download Inkay. The app's called, you know, named after the famous Squid Pokemon. Um, see, it says right here, Inkay is an aroma, basically a homebrew plugin that patches various Nintendo Network URLs on a Wii U to use Pretendo Network instead. So, it doesn't include the game-specific patches present in Nimble. So, for example, with Splatoon 1, you might get an error message starting up that game for the first time. So... If you go on, so you go over to NK on the Homebrew App Store and then download that. You can then just um, go back to the home menu from there and it should basically be on there. And I mean, it's not really like an, an app or anything, it just kind of like installs to your console and it kind of like, it's hard to explain really, but you, it installs to your console and it kind of like runs in the background. So now what you're going to want to do is kind of like um, restart your Wii U. And when you turn on your Wii U again, it should say in the top left corner that it's using Pretendo Network. So if it says that, that's a good sign and you're doing everything as it should be. So, what you've got to do now is to just sign in, and this is where the account actually comes in. So, what you need to do here is 
head on over to your Nintendo Network ID. And now that you've gone onto your Nintendo Network ID, you're going to be using that to create a new user, basically. I'm having to switch my phone at this point because there's not really a possible way to record the gamepad. So, um, this is me, and if you basically go over to um, switch user over here, and then add new user, It will tell you that an, a new user will be added to this console. New user should always be added by an adult. Nah, blah, blah, blah. Do you have a Nintendo Network ID for this? You are to say yes. And then link an existing ID. Um, do you want to use your ID on this Wii U console? Yes. And now, once it asks for your details, um, you need to um, enter the details that it gave you. Okay, so now that you've added your new user by um, linking your Pretendo ID, then you are basically now free to start using Pretendo. Um, but there's one thing I would like to go through with you all first, and you're going to need to just head into system settings right here and from this point on I will be using the gamepad so um, I'll see you guys once I'm in the system settings okay so now that you're in system settings go over right here to where it says internet then connect to the internet then press X to go to your connection list and then scroll down and find the list that you use and then go to change settings and for DNS do not auto obtain and then enter the following ones in so for the primary DNS you can put 88.198.140.154 and for the secondary DNS you can put either one of two things you can put 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 for the Google DNS or 1.1.1.1 which is Cloudflare it doesn't really matter which one you use, but um, I've been using 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 because I find that works best for me. I haven't actually tried the other one yet, but this one works pretty good. So now after you do that, you're going to do, want to do confirm, go back, and also do um, a connection test, you know, just to make sure that it's working and all. And if you're lucky, it should work well. See, there we go the connection test was successful and the details for this network have been saved with the, all the dns changes and that so the dns changes should basically help with um pretendo help it run more smoothly if i may add okay so the final thing that you're going to need to do is um take the sd card out of your wii u and put it back in your computer and we're going to download nimble so this should hopefully ch fix that error message in Splatoon. So what you're going to need to do is head on over to this GitHub page. The link's in the description if you want to take a look at it. Um, download this file, 30 underscore nimble.rpx. And once that's downloaded, you... I'm not going to download it right here because um, I already have it installed. But what you need to do here is put it on your SD card then go to Wii U environments aroma modules and set up and it should just be right there up where all the other RPX files are that run on your homebrew environment so now you should have everything that you need to run Pretendo smoothly and I will see you guys back over on the Wii U okay so now we've done everything that we need to do in order to run pretendo online in 2024 so um i'm now going to jump into a game of splatoon 1 to actually prove to you guys that this works so i tried playing this last night when i first did this um the first time i did it i did get an error code saying unable to connect to the internet but i just left the lobby and then rejoined and that fixed it 
and it's worked really well since. So, if you actually head into the plaza, then Miiverse posts should actually come up. I mean, it hasn't come up for me just yet, but um, it should do. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and head into the lobby right now. Um, and it should say, to participate in online battles, you need to connect to the internet and receive the latest news data. Just go ahead and press receive. I mean, it may take a while to load, but that's kind of like to be expected, really. I mean, I don't know why the load times are so long. See, I got this error message, unable to connect to the server. But all I did was um, rejoin the lobby and it worked like a charm. So I'll show you guys that once I have um, completed it. So yeah guys, I just managed to fix the, the issue. So now the news should pop up. So if that error message just keeps popping up, then just try entering the lobby a few times and then it will just keep trying to connect and eventually it will, eventually it will work. So, unfortunately, I am only, like, level 3 in this, because, um, I didn't sync my Nintendo Network ID to my... I didn't sync my save data. So, if you do want to sync your save data, then what you're going to need to do is just go ahead and go over to, um, your homebrew, and then download this app called Save Me, and, um, you can basically just go ahead and transfer your save data from there. So, as you can see in the plaza, me vs posts work. And if you want to post to me vs, then you can head over to that mailbox over there and you can do it. See, it's actually really cool because I never actually got to experience me vs back in the day when it was a thing. Even though I've had this Wii U since like um, 2013 or something. But, yeah, this is actually really cool because I was only I was only like five years old I didn't know how to use Miiverse at the time but yeah it it works like a dream like it like like it was never shut down so um I'm just gonna shut up for a minute and um just um jump into a game
Okay, so that's the end of the Splatoon match, and of course, I lost miserably. But, to be fair, before you guys go spamming skill issue in the comments, the lobby was kind of full of Japanese sweats, so um, that's kind of to be expected, really. But, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the lobby. But anyway, guys, that's how, that's how you play Wii U games online in 2024 with Pretendo. I will probably do a tutorial for 3DS games because this service also works with 3DS games too. So, um, I hope you guys like that tutorial video. It's the first tutorial video I've made since 2022 when I did the WiiWare games tutorial. But that one got taken down because of a, a piracy or something. But, you know, the world has truly entered a great pirate era, am I right? But, anyway guys... I'll see you guys in the next video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, be sure to check out my Discord, Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. Links down in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.